with the current health crisis brought about by COVID-19 pandemic, the world started to shift paradigm from old norm to what we now call as you normal, from business operations and to how the economy operates up to the most basic social activity such as family interaction. One of the most negatively hit by this crisis is the education sector. All schools shut down. However, although physical structures of learning centers shut down, learning must still take place. With this, the Department of Education develops alternative plans and policies in order to meet the educational needs of learners in the new normal. This results to the adoption of the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan. One aspect of the BELCP is to prepare the teachers in the conduct of new normal education. Thus, learning delivery modalities for teachers was born. Through this course, teachers will be able to understand and practically bridge the current space and distance between them and the learners and continuously deliver an efficient and quality teaching and learning. Thus, this e-portfolio contains artifacts which reflects my endeavor in applying the principles and practices contained in the LDM course, for me to efficiently deliver quality education in the exigency of service. The main contents of this portfolio are Individual Learning Monitoring Plan Weekly Home Learning Plan Teacher Made or Modified Learning Resources Certificates of Participation in Professional Development Activities Reflective Summary Means of Verification on Engaging Learners in Their Progress and Improvement Means of Verification on Professional Engagement with Colleagues and Means of Verification on Engaging Stakeholders in the Teaching and Learning Process these are the samples of individual learning monitoring plan as a required artifact. The targeted PPST standard for individual learning monitoring plan as a required artifact is 3.1 Learners gender, needs, strengths, interests and experiences. The learner's case in this sample is failing marked due to low performance in a certain competency. In this case, the learner is having difficulty in grasping the conceptual and technical aspect of Week 7 lesson financial ratios. From the original draft of the ILMP, Sir John Valenia recommended to specify the learning competency for Week 7 under the Learner Need column. The recommendation was integrated further to help the learner. I provided supplemental video discussion with sample problems and later administered short evaluation activity. With the interventions made, the learner showed significant progress as evident from her reassessed activities and eventually passed the subject in quarter one. On the other hand, the learner's case for this sample of ILMP is having incomplete remarks due to non-compliance of some activities. It was indicated from the original draft of the ILMP for this learner that a consultation would be made with a parent or a guardian. Sir Johnald recommended to specifically identify the details of the consultation. The consultation with his guardian brought out some personal issues concerning the non-compliance of the learner which the guardian was able to explain. With due consideration, we then entered into an agreement for the learner to comply the activities within a specified period of time. The learner complied and got a passing mark. The following are the samples of weekly home learning plan as a required artifact. The targeted PPST standards for weekly home learning plan as a required artifact are the following 3.4 Learners in difficult circumstances 4.1 Planning and management of learning process 4.2 Learning outcomes aligned with learning competencies 5.1 Design, selection, organization and utilization of assessment strategies The highlighted improvement for this sample of WHLP is specification of learning tasks In this sample, the first draft shows and activity sheets as learning tasks. Upon checking, Sir Johnald recommended to specifically identify each learning activity, task for the day as reflected from the activity sheets including page number. The recommendation was integrated. Meanwhile, in this WHLP sample, the highlighted improved part is the learning competency column. This WHLP in FABM 2, Quarter 2, Week 1, originally reflected all competencies for a week in daily bracket. Upon checking, it was recommended to only include the specific competency for each day for a specific number of class hour. The recommendation was integrated. On the other hand, this WHLP sample highlighted the improvement on the inclusion of general remarks and reflection section on weekly performance. This WHLP in FABM 2, Quarter 2, Week 4, 
originally does not include reflection and remarks. Mamana Allah's Qasim recommended to include a specific portion at the last part of the WHLP indicating the teacher's reflection and remarks in relation to the conduct of the weekly learning plan. The recommendation was integrated. The following are the samples on teacher made or modified learning resources as a required artifact. The targeted PPST standard on teacher made or modified learning resources as a required artifact is 4.5. Teaching and learning resources including ICT. In this artifact, I highlighted the improvement on the integration of meaningful experiential learning tasks. These photos are portion of the activity sheets I made in FABM2. The improvements reflected herein is the integration of practical tasks which allow the learners to apply the concepts learned in their context and interest. These practical tasks include personal accounting in terms of statement of financial position and income statement preparation. Meanwhile, the second sample of unlearning resources highlighted the conduct of online Kumasfahan and online class to supplement activity sheets. The photos on the right side reflect the conduct of online Kumasfahan and online class to supplement the individual learning of the learners. Using different ICT tools such as Google Classroom and Google Meet, it allows a distant interaction between me and the learners in order to scaffold their first-hand learning through clarification of misunderstood concepts, supplemental discussion, etc. Through this ICT integration, learning becomes more flexible because students have the option to attend live discussions or watch and learn in their own pace through the recorded discussions. The following are the artifacts on certificates of participation on professional development activities as a required artifact. The targeted PPST standards on certificates of participation on professional development activities as a required artifact are 7.3 Professional links with colleagues 7.5 Professional development goals In this artifact, I highlighted my accomplishment of the first objective reflected on my professional development plan. As part of my professional development plan constructed during the conduct of the LDM to LAC sessions, I participated the INSET virtual training of DEPED last March 2021. One of the topics is effective delivery of synchronous and asynchronous teaching. My participation to this training helped me determine appropriate learner engagement strategies in various classroom settings such as the new normal education setup. I was able to learn and apply how to utilize different free online learning management systems such as Google Classroom and the delivery of teaching and instruction both synchronous and asynchronous. I am currently using these platforms forms to reach out to the learners in the new normal way. Meanwhile, in the second set of samples on certificates in participating professional development activities, I highlighted my second professional objective, the acquisition of deeper understanding on crafting contextualized lesson plan. Another objective in my professional development plan is for me to engage into learnings that will allow me to modify the LLs or lesson plans in order to adopt to the demand of teaching delivery in the new normal through application of various new normal classroom management strategies. Therefore, I attended last May 17th to 18th a virtual international conference on education and teaching in K-12 schools. With this webinar, I was able to learn various strategies initiated and adopted from various public schools in different countries. This allows me to have an in-depth understanding on the role of learners' context in designing appropriate teaching plan and integrating appropriate strategy. The following slide contains my reflective summary as a required artifact on this portfolio. The LDM Aside from its goal of contextualizing the delivery of teaching learning process because of the current situation that we are facing, also have personally created a new personal and professional paradigm shift in me in relation to how I conduct my teaching and instruction and meet professional development goals at the same time in this new normal. The artifacts presented herein are reflection of my personal endeavor to constantly improve and contribute to the quality of teaching and instruction delivery. The LDM allowed me to be more flexible and adaptive to different teaching and learning context. It also provided me a deeper understanding on the importance of contextualizing learning materials and resources in order to create an inclusive learning environment for different types of learners. Strategically, LDM had paved way for me to currently assess and situate myself in terms of my capacity in the delivery of teaching in the new normal. With the learning I acquired in this module, 
I was able to understand myself professionally and had develop a sense of responsibility on my personal and professional growth. I had learned to deeply understand my strengths and weaknesses which became the stepping stone for me to craft my own professional development plan for my personal and career improvement. Finally, in the delivery of my teaching using the current modality, it gave me a better perspective on the vital role of technology integration and collaboration among teachers in order to advance the delivery of teaching learning with ease, quality and efficiency. The sample artifacts on the next slides are the means of verification on learners' engagement in their progress and achievement. The targeted PPST standards on MOVs for engaging learners in their progress and development are 5.2 Monitoring and evaluation of learner progress and achievement 5.3 Feedback to improve learning The artifacts presented in this slide highlight the platforms I use to communicate class requirements. The photos on the left side are some of the various platforms I used in order to communicate to the learners about their class requirements give updates and gather feedback from them relative to their activity sheet accomplishment status. Most of my advisory class opted online communication and therefore I initiated to create a private Facebook page, Google Classroom and private group chat messaging in order to keep them updated regarding their class requirements, schedule of submission and other important information. Meanwhile, on this slide, I present some of the platforms I use to give feedback to learners. The photos on the left are various samples of notes, announcements and exchange of messages with learners to give some feedback about their outputs in my class. The upper photo is an example of giving feedback to learners via online using Google Form as tool for output slash activity submission. The photo on the extreme right is an announcement regarding learners with incomplete activities and instructions for their completion to satisfy the course requirement. The lower photo on the other hand is a sample of giving feedback to specific output using Messenger app. The preceding slides contain the artifacts on means of verification on professional engagement with colleagues. The targeted PPST standard on MOVs on professional engagement with colleagues is 7.3 Professional Links with Colleagues The photos are evidence of LAC sessions conducted in our group for the accomplishment of the LDM2 outputs. The bottom picture is a clip where Mamana Luzkasim discussed the different parts of the LDM portfolio and introduced to us the different MOVs in accomplishing the output. The chat box on the left shows queries of some members regarding the process in accomplishing the final output for LDM2. In addition, this slide shows my MOV on inset training participation. The photo on the left showed my participation to various training of the department. The left photo shows my online participation during the conduct of the regional orientation on the RPMS last February. On the other hand, the right side photo is my logged in account in the DEP at LRMS and attending the online inset last March 2021. The following are the artifacts on means of verification on engaging key stakeholders in the teaching learning process. The targeted PPST standards on means of verification on engaging key stakeholders in the teaching learning process are 5.4 Communication of learner needs, progress and achievement to key stakeholders 6.2 Engagement of parents and the wider community in the educative process These photos show some of the strategies I used to reach out to parents and make them more involved in the current context of teaching learning process. I use different online platforms to communicate to them and disseminate information relative to their child or ward requirements, accomplishments, outputs, etc. Using online platform, I instructed the learners to assist their respective parents or guardians in using the different platforms such as Messenger, Google Form, Google Meet etc. This conduct entails me of the significant role of parents in the efficient delivery of teaching and learning process. In addition, the photos herein show that aside from online platform, I also initiate limited face-to-face -face consultation subject to IATF protocols. These consultations are usually done for the parents of those learners who are not compliant in the submission of their activity sheet output and tasks. To better understand the issues faced by these learners, I call for the parent or a guardian to conduct consultation in order to inform them about their child or ward performance and understand the root causes of non-compliant behavior by the learners. During the consultation I also make an agreement with the parent 
or a guardian regarding the next cause of action for their child evident from the accomplished consultation log on the left. Also, in some extreme cases, I reach out to other stakeholders to reach out to learners especially those who have been inactive in class. The photos on the right side shows my exchange of messages with a barangay captain to whom I ask favor to talk to the parents of one of my learners which happen to be under his barangay jurisdiction. The captain warmly welcomed my request and is very responsive on the matter. As a result, I was able to track down my learner and her parents, who have been inactive since the start of quarter 3. I called up for consultation and gladly, her parent and I had a talk regarding the personal issue of the learner causing her to be inactive in all her classes. We then agreed into a fair and just consideration given the circumstance of the learner. About the teacher, Noel S. Hasman holds a baccalaureate degree in accountancy and a graduate of Master in Business Administration at Pan Pacific University North Philippines with background in teaching both in higher education and senior high school curricula. Prior to his intake as a public school teacher, he had been in the academe for eight years as college head of business education program at Pan Pacific University North Philippines Tea campus. With his previous employment, he had accumulated vast experiences in the field of teaching, educational management such as tasks contributing to curricular planning and development and implementation. With his desire to strengthen his core competence as an educator specializing in business and management field, he had developed a deep interest in research especially in the field of human resource development practices and general management. Currently. He is a senior high school teacher at Duarte City National High School teaching accounting, business and research courses under the accountancy business and management strand. This is the end of my e-portfolio. Thank you.